What's up, guys? It's your boy Scuba Steve. I'm coming at y'all with a quick little unboxing video. I've been waiting a few days for this little fishy right here. Box bottom feels a little wet though. And I don't think it's raining outside, so. Let's see. Cunningham cichlids. Oh yeah, she's nice and warm. Nice. Alright, so she is alive. Let me go ahead and Alright, so we got the Cunningham, Josh Cunningham, Cunningham Cichlids. I always like to support these guys. Thank you for your business. I hope you enjoy your fish or product. All DOA must have a clear picture of the fish in the bag, and picture must be sent within one hour of delivery notification. DOA is covered for first delivery attempt just let us 60 bucks $40 shipping for overnight she was on sale for 20 bucks and I love how he got these little uh, stickers of the fish names and stuff on there it's pretty cool but yeah look she's doing pretty good Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a good picture of her. Ooh. She is pretty. So, I got this tank just a little bit halfway full. I took a little bit of water from there just to get her acclimated and stuff. Uh, I'm going to get this filled up the rest of the way, but I'm going to go ahead and start getting her acclimated in to here right now. So, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, she's jumping a little. She just jumped a uh, That's not a little jump. That's a big jump. That's a big girl jump. Uh, but yeah, get, check these guys out at the Cunningham Cichlids, man. I'm plugging this airline up right now. Just to get this going a little bit. Oh, yeah, I got my net and stuff. We can set this up. So but she's in there just chilling. She don't. Oh, she don't seem too stressed out. Too bad. Look at the little methane blue in there and stuff for the travel. But yeah, um, my mom said the UPS guy actually rung the doorbell. And waited for somebody to answer so that was pretty cool when he said the bottom was feeling wet but maybe just a little bit of that methane blue leaked off the side of the bag I think or something yeah that's it oh Sorry about that noise. I just want to see how wet the bottom is. Yeah, see? Alright, so. Nothing to worry about. It's just kind of sketch if the bottom was the blowout of this thing. Because it's wet and soft, you see? So. I'll text them and send them an email and let them know, but I'm not no hater or 
complain or nothing. I just gonna let them know that the box is wet, just so he can uh, <laughs> so it don't happen for him in the future. Just just to help them out, you know. I'm not gonna complain or do a bad review. I'm gonna actually like I'm really happy with the way this girl looks. But I just don't want the bottom of the box to get wet on someone in a, a bigger bag or a bigger fish might fall through the bottom or something, you know? Just to, just to be, take precaution and make sure everything's all right. But I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of prime. Stress guard. I'll do one cap of each real quick. I'm trying to hurry up and wrap this up. Let's go ahead and get this prime in here. And then we'll wrap this video on it. Alright, I'm going to give this girl about 20 minutes or so to acclimate. Because the water temperature was pretty warm in the bag, so... This tank water is pretty warm, so we'll give her about 10 15 minutes to acclimate for 20 minutes or so at the most, and we'll come back and I'll show y'all once I get her in the tank. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, this has been about 20 minutes or so, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of here. I don't think it was from his packing job because these bags are really thick. I just don't want this wood stuff to leak on my floor. Because that will stain your floor. Yeah, he double bagged it really well. Oh man, where's my knife? I'm gonna cut this rubber band. Cut my fingers off. Yeah, see, this is packed so good I can't even get into it. Oh, jeez. Here she is, guys. Here she is. She's a good looking girl. I think she might be bigger than four inches. She is the living stone eye female. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this lid back on. If I can get it. There we go.
can I get this airline tubing back here? Just get everything somewhat neat. But I trust these guys a lot from their source. Like I got my L239. You can't really see them in there. Cause somebody wants to dig a big old sand castle. Like they're on the beach. But this video ain't about y'all. But I got the my pleco from him. And I didn't quarantine it is all I'm saying. And it was really good. But yeah, there she is. She's just chilling. Kind of probably stressed out a little. It's kind of freaking me out. She isn't moving at all. You can see the gills moving though. So, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get this light out of her face. And we still got this guy down here. There he is. I'm gonna reintroduce these two guys together in my next video. Stay tuned on how to introduce your African cichlids back home into the new tank. It's a lot easier to do with more than one fish. So I knew I was getting this female. So, so I prolonged his quarantine time just for a few days longer so I can keep an eye on this girl to make sure she's fine and don't have any diseases or anything from getting transported. So, with that being said, I'm going to add these two guys together in a few days. So, stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Scoop Steve-O, we're out. Peace.